Recently, I made a kitchen dashboard to replace my Echo Show 15 that was showing ads. Lame. So I'll show you how I made it, and these are five ways you can level up any dashboard. So the first way to level up your dashboard is something that I just recently discovered, and it solves so many problems that I've run into with dashboards in the past because I wanna pack my dashboard full of buttons and sensors to get the most out of it, but I don't want it to get cluttered up either. So this add-on really solves all those problems and it's called Bubble Card. And what it allows me to do is hide a bunch of things on my dashboard, but still allow me to quickly access it because you don't have to go to another dashboard view and then back to your dashboard and have everything load and it's kind of disorienting. With Bubble Card, it just hides a bunch of stuff on your dashboard and then when you need to see it, they just appear and then you can make them disappear and it's not disorienting because your dashboard is not reloading the view, so it's a lot faster. And to install this, you need to add it with Hacks, which is Home Assistant Community Store. And if you haven't installed Hacks already in Home Assistant, I highly recommend it because pretty much all these add-ons that I'm showing in this video will use hacks. So once it's installed, I created a vertical stack to put all the buttons I wanted to hide and show. But just make sure the first card in the vertical stack is the bubble card. I made it a pop-up card type and gave it a unique hash. There are some other settings that can be enabled like a header with a close button or other ways the pop-up can close. I appreciate the customization available. Then to make the bubble card pop-up appear on the dashboard, create a button with the tap behavior set to navigate and the navigation path, the unique hash set in the bubble card. And that's it. Now pressing the button will bring up the pop-up and I'll definitely be using this in all of my dashboards. The second way to level up your dashboard is to integrate it with your calendar. And I have my Home Assistant integrated with Google Calendar and it's super useful for running automations like if I'm in a meeting to let my family know I'm busy. It's really, really helpful, but it's also helpful to have your family calendar on a dashboard like we have in our kitchen. But the default calendar card that comes with Home Assistant didn't really fit the bill for me because there was a lot of features that I wanted and I couldn't enable them like once a calendar event happened for it to disappear. So I went looking online and there was a community one created called Atomic Calendar Revive. And this thing is awesome because you can fine tune it exactly how you want it. So you can have it display the date a certain way. If a calendar event happens for it to disappear, have a progress bar show up when an event is happening, show the location of the event. So many little things that you can toggle on and off. And I'm also using it to display what's for dinner. Since me and my wife, we use Todoist and we have what's for dinner as a shared Todoist project or whatever. And since Home Assistant integrates with Todoist, it treats it as a calendar item. And so I'm using this Atomic Calendar Revive to display my Todoist items as well on the dashboard. And that way I can show what's for dinner today and tomorrow. So this add-on makes a really big difference because I can tweak it to work exactly how I want it to. So even though I could customize the functionality of that add-on, I still need to be able to change how it looks because for our kitchen dashboard, I want it to be a lot bigger so we can see it from further away. That brings me to the third way to level up your dashboard, and that's changing how the style looks. To do that, I'm using an add-on called Card Mod, and that allows me to add certain styles to a card. For example, I can change the font size or the background color, and Card Mod might seem scary at first because you have to paste in some styling code, but it's not too bad once you do it a few times. So you just click on Show Code Editor, paste in the styling code, like if you wanna change the background color. And when you do that, it will change the preview in real time. So it's really helpful to see what you're changing. If you're familiar with HTML or CSS, that's pretty much all it is. Like you can view the page source and view which class you wanna change. And that's how I was able to change a bunch of different things like that calendar. I would look at the class, make some tweaks and make sure it changed exactly how I wanted it to. And I'll paste all my card mod code that I'm using for all the different things on my dashboard 
So even if you don't know HTML or CSS, you could take that, paste it into your own dashboard, and you could make changes pretty easily. It's really not too bad. The fourth way to level up your dashboard is to automatically show or hide cards on the dashboard. And I know I've talked about this before, but Home Assistant has made it even easier. So there's a visibility tab now, and you can add a condition to show or hide the card. And the way I use this is, like if the garage door is open, then I will show that tile card of the garage door, and that way I could close it, or if the front door is unlocked, I can quickly lock it right there from the dashboard, and then once it's locked, it disappears. So I don't have to see it, I don't have it cluttering up my dashboard, I only see things that need my attention. But I also took it up a notch, and I'm only displaying like my video doorbell feed on the dashboard, if someone is standing there on my front porch. And the way I'm doing that is with an input Boolean. So there's an automation that already runs when it detects someone at my front door and it will turn on that input Boolean for like, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds. And when that's on, then it will display the video doorbell feed on my dashboard and then once the input Boolean is turned off, it hides the doorbell feed. So yeah, pretty much all that stuff that was in the bubble card, if it's turned on, it will show up on the dashboard to let me know, hey, this thing is on, it normally isn't. So when it is, it's right there and I can quickly turn it off and it will disappear from the dashboard. So it's super useful. All right, the fifth way to level up your dashboard is to display really big warning banners on the dashboard that you can easily see from a distance. And this is combining the technique of hiding and showing cards that I just talked about and the card mod to display how it looks because I want it to be really visible, like changing the background so it's really easy to see from a distance. So here's how I set it up. Most of them are button cards and I've modified the style using the card mod to change the background color and then I also changed the layout to be two rows and four columns. And so it's really visible. And the way I have it show up is with an input Boolean. So I have an input Boolean. If the dishwasher is clean, it will turn on from an automation. Then it will show that button on the dashboard. The way I interact with the banners is if I press on the button, it turns off the input Boolean, so it automatically disappears. All right, so those are the five ways you can level up your dashboard. and. I know it's been a little while since I've posted here on the second channel, but I plan on doing it more. I've worked on a lot of really cool projects around my house and some of them I haven't been able to put on to the main channel. So I'm gonna try to cover more things here that uh, I've been tinkering with and having a lot of fun. So I can't wait to show you. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely do it. And thanks for watching.